Mike Florio, kind enough to take some time. Busy guy to join us today, man. We've left him a lot of messages. But he said, Danny, the NFL is obsessed, has an obsession with stopping the zone read. Obsession. Now, what exactly does that mean? You scared? No, not scared. Because here's why. You can adapt a game plan to stop any play. The difficulty is you can't, if you do the same plan each time to stop the play, there's a counter punch to that. So you're gonna start mixing it up. It is the natural ebb and flow of play calling in the NFL. But here's the thing about Russell Wilson, is that he is not just a running back who can throw the ball. He is not just a quarterback who's capable of running. He's a guy with a big arm, who also happens to be very elusive, very shifty, and a threat to run the ball down the field if you're not paying attention to that. Yeah, I thought Damon made some pretty good points. Big Brother, the Chief Administrative Officer of the University of Washington, joined the show, and we played some of those clips for Damon. You can catch all that on the podcast. And I think rightfully so, said Danny, hold on just a second. Just as the NFL may be obsessed with Russell Wilson, well, what's Russell Wilson? He's obsessed with a quest for knowledge and to learn about that defense and to learn about the schemes everybody's going to try to employ with him. And, oh, by the way, maybe we'll tweak, maybe we'll adapt, maybe we'll change what we do and I'll add further to my repertoire which has been a lot of what this OTA session and season's been about. Now one of the most interesting things is what Pete Carroll talked about the big advantage of incorporating the zone read option is that you're forcing your opponent to spend time preparing for that yep. instead of your base stuff. Seattle's base offense is not a zone read option. It is something they put in as a mixer and even when they were using it the most frequently they were which was the last month of the season 10% of your playbook, there are going to be games where they're not going to run any plays. And then your opponent will have spent those however many minutes in the meetings and however many plays at practice trying to stop something they don't ever end up seeing. Yeah, the base is what? Run it, throw it over the top, sprinkle in some zone read, good luck trying to stop it. They couldn't figure it out in the final eight weeks, and I don't think no matter how obsessed they are, they've got that perfect game plan to stop it this season.